You brothers that like the game bang, I know y'all idolize the Italians, right? Y'all want to be like the mob. The mob calls you mullets. They don't respect you. Teach! You understand? So you want to run around, call yourself Yo Gotti, John Gotti. Um, give me some more names, man. I can't even think of Capone. Scarface. Yep. Capone. Escobar. Well, Escobar was an Israelite. Capone. Capone. Y'all want to be like, y'all want to be El Capo. Y'all want to be Sosa. Right? Y'all want to follow after the good fellas. Back when the white man was game banging, we was down south sharecropping. We, we always was trying to survive. Bring it out! Game banging ain't our culture. Teach! My GDBD Vice Lord brothers, game banging ain't our culture. Bring when we gonna stop following the white man? Right! When we gonna do what God say do and stop following our oppressor? Right! You wanna be so hard and run on and slide on your on your own folk and now? Right! Teach! You know why? Because we are destroyed as a people. Bring it out! That's why we ride around with extended clips. We want to ride around with 30 bullets. Not to shoot or do harm to the one that put us here, but to shoot and do harm and terrorize our own people. See? Got these old folks out here scared to death. Bring it out! Got these women out here scared to death. Right! Because y'all a bunch of terrorists. Kids can't even play at the playground. See? Read, read, read again. Verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments Read. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. You see, that game banging is a curse. God said that we shall have curses befall us for not keeping God's commandments. You understand me? Right. If you call yourself a gangster disciple, that's a curse. Jeez. Vice Lord. That's the curse. Teach. You understand me? And guess what? We was just like you. But guess what? We understand that the Bible, that there's death in that. Right. That's the ways of death and destruction. Teach. You understand me? Because the OGs will tell you that's locked down in 26, that's locked down in the penitentiary, fighting niggas off their back. They're going to tell you that there ain't no lifestyle, bro. Right. Your, your folks laying you down in the casket ain't no lifestyle, bro. Right. That don't make you gangster. That don't make you hard. That makes you wicked according to the Bible. That's right. What make you hard, what make you all stiff, is doing what God say do. That's right. It's easy to follow a multitude to do evil. Give me the book of Proverbs chapter 1. And again, this ain't hatred, bro. This is love. That's right. This is sincere. This is passion. Right. Because we was once you. That's right. We was once you. Right. Read. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 10. Bring it out. Verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. You have to fear the Lord. Because there's an entity that can take your life every single night or ordain you to live every single day. Right. That's worse than bullets. Right. And the destruction that's coming is worse than what a Glock can do to you. Right. Worse than what a Draco can do to you. Bring it out. It's called thermal nuclear destruction. Right, right. And it was worse, it's worse than slavery. But God is holding it back because he's waiting for y'all to repent. That's right. That's what he's waiting for. For y'all to wake up and mature in your mind and say, you know what, man, hey, hey, ain't no lifestyle in this. Right. I can't I can't raise my family game banging. Right. When I get locked down, these same folks that I'm riding for, they they forgetting about me. They stop filling up my commissary. Right. They don't even write me no more. Teach. Matter of fact, they running through my girl right now. Teach! Okay, so brother, you got any questions? You got any questions? All right, hey, just listen, all right? Read that. Verse 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. See that? Fools despise wisdom and instruction. Right. We've been fools for far too long. Right. Read. My son, hear the instruction of thy father, uh -huh. and forsake not the law of thy mother. You see that? That's all the Bible is, is instruction and law. Who gave us religion? Gee. Who told us to shuck and jive in the shots? Ah, 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 ah. Who gave us that? Gee. God gave us laws and instructions. Gee. That's right. What are we doing? We making things up. Read. For they shall be an ornament of grace into thy head. Read. And chains about thy neck. That's how you know we talking about you. We talking about you, black man. Y'all love wearing chains. Right. Y'all love jewelry. Right? Read that again. 
for thy for they shall be an ornament of grace unto thy head. Uh -huh. You keeping the laws, it's like an ornament of a grace upon your head. Right. What do we wear on our head? We wear earrings in our ear. That's always been a custom of us. Teach. We have jewelries on the neck. Bro, you keeping God's laws, it's like you decked out. Right. You are adorned. You understand me? Read. And chains about thy neck. God said, in, in other words, you ain't fresh until you keep in God's laws. You think you living, you ain't alive. Right. You ain't alive, you ain't dope, you ain't fresh. You don't look good until you start keeping God's laws. That's because right. when you keep God's laws, you are doing how you are doing what God created you to do. Right. The black man cannot perform without God's laws. That's right. That's why we running around. We are we are a bunch of kids, man. Any man can say anything or do anything to us and we go for it because we are not operating under the laws of God. We have lost our wisdom. We have lost our understanding. We have lost our desire to do better. We have lost all that because we have lost the laws of God. Read. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. If sinners can entice thee, consent thou not. It don't matter if your whole block is one game. God said consent thou not. Right. It don't matter if the school you go to is of one neighborhood. Consent thou not. Right. Sisters, it don't matter if your, all your friends done lost their virginity. Consent thou not. Right. Girl, you the, you the only one who ain't gave it up yet. What you waiting for? Right. Right. What you a nun? What you mother goose? Uh-uh. God said consent thou not. Right. They just jealous because they not virgins like you. Teach. They just mad because you chose not to game bang like them. Teach. That's what they mad for. They everybody in the deep in the, in the, in the back of their mind they want to do right, but they so knee deep in they sin they want you to come with them. Right. It's, it's an old saying. Old folks like to say it. Misery loves company. God said what? Verse ten. Verse ten. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. If they say, come with us, let us lay wait for blood. So now today, they don't say, come, let us wait, lay wait for blood. They say, hey, let's slide on folk in them. That's what they say. That's the term that they use today, but it's still the same thing. Let us come wait, lay wait for innocent blood. Right. Read. Let us lurk privily for the, y'all know what lurk means. If they say, let us lurk privily, come on. For the innocent without cause, without a cause. For the innocent without a cause, because you know why your brother's innocent? Your brother did not put you in this predicament. Right. Your brother did not put you on section eight. Your brother did not shackle you with chains and brought you to the shores of America to serve slavery for 300, 400 years. Right. Your brother ain't did that. Your anger and animosity is not really towards your brother. Right, right. Your anger and animosity is because God is punishing you for your sins and you don't understand it. That's right. That's your anger and animosity. So when you cuss us out, throw the flowers away, it don't hurt us personally because we know that our people are sick. We know the psychology of our people that we are destroyed. Right. And we know that it takes time. That's why we come out here week after week in the hopes that you finally listen. Right. Read. Verse 12. Let us swallow them up alive as the grave and whole as those, as those that go down unto the pit. It's talking about let us commit murder. That's why this city has been known as Chirac for almost a decade now. Damn near the better half of a decade, this has been known as Chirac. Chirac. Because we want to swallow them up alive as the grave. Right. When you shoot at your brother, when you commit murder, you are swallowing up your brother alive as in the grave. That's right. When you sell Percocet, you sell crack, you sell heroin, you sell pills on the corner of 63rd and Ashley, you are swallowing your brother alive. Right. When you pimp, I like, I like they, they, swing, they, they change the term from pimp to human trafficking because it scares y'all a little bit more. When you become a human trafficker, you are swallowing up your people alive as in the grave. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 27, verse 25. Cursed be he that taken reward to slay an innocent person, and all people shall say amen. You see that? And that's another law for you brothers that like to do hitman stuff. You got that? God said, cursed be he that taketh a reward to slay innocent blood. Because, believe it or not, 
Your brother is innocent blood. Your brother ain't put you in this predicament. Right. You killing him ain't finna take away your anger. That's right. But when we teach, our people don't want to listen. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.